Oh hey. Y'all feeling my festivities? Look at this. You like my seizure creating necklace? Matter of fact, let me turn that down. I don't want to give anybody any uh, you know any hard times today. I'm not trying to do that. No seizures today, y'all. Stay healthy. Cause today is Christmas. It's a good day. And we're giving away a 500 pound magnet by Brute Magnetics. They were kind enough to sponsor the giveaway, which is huge. So if you're feeling like it, if you're feeling extra festive, extra festive, having a hard time talking, it's early, it's rough. But if you're feeling extra festive, go down in the comments and say, thank you Brute Magnetics, y'all are awesome. Because Brute Magnetics, like I said, they were kind enough to sponsor the giveaway and they are the company, they are just, they are just the company out there when it comes to magnets. They're like the Nike for shoes and they're like the, I, I, I don't know, Nike, no, just, Nike's pretty good, you, you know what I'm saying. But when it comes to magnets, Brute Magnetics is just top notch. If you want a good magnet, that's where I would recommend to go. So, just keep that in mind. But today, me and my friend, Outdoors Weekly, he should be here any minute, so I need to, I need to do this quick. Uh, he should be here any minute, we're gonna go out and we're gonna do a little bit of magnet fishing at a, at a, couple, at a couple places. But, stay tuned guys, I don't want you to miss this. It's gonna be an awesome day. Every day's an awesome day, every day's beautiful. Every day's great. <laughs> But today is going to be even better. Stay tuned, guys. I don't want you to miss it. Check it out, guys. Our first like real find of the day. Some pliers, and they're actually really good condition. It's crazy. I was throwing out there under that bridge, and we were finding stuff under the bridge. So I'm throwing that right there. I promise I'll take it with me. But let's see if we can find some more stuff. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Oh wow, y'all look how massive that is before right, we even get out of the water. One, two, three. Oh god, I gotta... Magnetic, that part. Yo, grab, grab something, there you go. Ah. Oh no! We got it! <laughs> we got hey. it! Dude, there we go! Dude, it... Now what? Dude, you know what? This might be stolen. This what? I think this is a not... Whatever, not true... Asa? Dude, what, what kind of tank is this? Nitrous oxide. Yes, that's what it is, dude. Look at that, guys. You know we, we found a massive nitrous oxide tank in the that's water. What it was. Woo! Dude, you know what? I think this might be stolen. I'm serious. I watched a documentary on this on YouTube for some reason the other day, dude. I'm not even joking. This might be stolen from a hospital. Really? Is there a without breaking? All right, guys. So my GoPro died, so we're gonna be talking from the from the Hero Four right now. That's a but oldie, dude. He just found. A license plate from 1979. Y'all see that? 1979. That is crazy. Um, and while you're also away, he found this giant wrench. Looks like a for bolts for like trucks or something like that. Maybe someone had like an accident here, and their stuff just rolled into the water. But I'm gonna turn this camera back off. This GoPro's dead. But I'm gonna turn this camera back off, and I'll turn you back on when I find something cool. Dude, yo. I think I'm right. That's a lot bigger uh, than the seven. 22 bullet we just found. Oh, dude, there's gotta be something good out there's here. There's gotta be something here. Something big's coming up, dude. Oh, no. Dude, what if there's a rifle down there? Oh, I still got something big. Something big broke off. Oh. I still got something big. What you got? Another wrench, dude. Oh, dude, that's a gun. That's a gun, dude. That's a gun. That's a gun, dude. Dude, that's a gun, Danny. Danny, that's a gun. <laughs> Yo, you gotta send me that. Dude, off that I dude. will send you that. We found a. We found a gun, dude. We found a gun. You guys don't understand how long we've been trying to find dude, a gun. Dude, dude, hold it. Oh hold my it, gosh. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, guys. Yes, Danny. Danny. Bro. Yes. We found a gun. Look at this. And it's stolen. You know that's stolen. Yes, people don't 100%. Carry, people don't carry this around on their persons. This exactly. is like someone's concealed weapon. Someone ganked that out of someone's house Look at and that. threw it in the water. Dude, we found uh, 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 a stolen uh, uh, gun. Stolen nitrate oxide, dude. Are you kidding me? 
All right, guys, so my camera died, and I've just been kind of using this off to the side, but while my camera was died, check what we just found. We found, this looks like an old 12 gauge. This is like a 16 inch barrel. So this is probably someone's like 12 gauge that their grandpa, great grandpa probably gave them. And then someone stole it out of their house and then came out here and threw it in the water and we found it. Okay, wait, Ooh. I gotta say something, dude. You know how long we have been trying to find a gun together? Like literally, I said, since day one, we started joking yeah. about it. Yeah. Joking. We did not think coming here out of any of the places, we would have found a gun here. And it, like, it's an older gun. It's not like a handgun or anything, but still. But dude, this is still like, techni technically this isn't like something somebody could probably legally have, because that's not a pistol, and it's too, sh it's too short to be a shotgun. Yeah. You know what dude, I mean? So this is, is some it? somebody ganked this out of someone's house for sure, and then just used it once or, or realized they couldn't use it, and then just threw it in the water. Dude. I'm hoping to God it's not a replica. <laughs> dude, that's way too heavy to be a replica. That's way Woo! too heavy. Y'all, we found a gun, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna go put. I'm gonna go get my DSLR. We're gonna get some batteries. We're gonna come back. We're gonna keep finding more because there's gotta be another one out here. He just found the 762 by 54 bullet. That's what the most in the gaunt shoots. And he just found one of those out here, so we can maybe. And, dude, forget about the 22. And we found a 22 short, not a 22 long rifle. What everybody has. Sorry, my hands are all dirty. We found a 22 short. A very. I don't think anybody would carry that. So that tells me that's a stolen caliber. So it's a good day, y'all. I'm gonna go get some more batteries. Everything up till now didn't matter. This all matters now. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Here you got some more tools for your dad. Oh yeah. We're finding so many tools here. Like, Dude, these are actually expensive. These things? Ra uh, tool sets? Ratchet sets? Oh yeah, ratchet sets. Oh, I mean, this is kind of hot. We got a magnet spot, by the way, which is coming in through magnets. Holy smoke, look at the size of that flathead. That is a Dude. broken Phillips flathead. Holy Dude, crap. Look how big that is. That looks like for a jacket. Magnets. What? Oh. Dude, what is that? Dude, I don't know, but I thought, I, dude, I don't know what I thought that was for a second, but I was just like, oh. <laughs> this way too small. And another bullet. Maybe it's like a drill or something. But look at this, guys. Why is <laughs> this? is just the weirdest thing, magnet fishing. catching stuff every cast. Every cast. And could someone at home confirm this for me? This is a 76 by 542R, right? R is for rimmed. Um, yeah. What's <laughs> a fishing reel. There's a fishing reel out here, y'all. Dang, I was I was kinda right with the radio player. Oh no, it's uh, it's not. It's um. This is what people used to have to like record on back in the day. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably about two hours, and it's just been non-stop, like find after find. But so I just found this in the water. Let me know if you think you know what this is. I'm probably not going to show like all these little individual things being found because it's just. So yeah, this is just stuff we've been finding. I'm not going to show all this because I just don't feel a need to show all this. But this is some of the stuff we've been finding so far. So, just catching up with y'all. Oh, yeah. And he just found a fire extinguisher. <laughs> All right, guys. So, my, my GoPro is dead. My, my chest is dead, unfortunately. So, we're going to kind of, we're going to be checking back and forth whenever I find something. But I just pulled this out of the water. I just yeah, pulled well, we gotta, we can't a giant parking meter Stop. out of the water. And, dude, you guys, the best part is, this is old. This is, like, legit, like, vintage. It takes 10 pennies, 2 nickels or a dime and the li listen there's something inside of it i'm taking this home and i'm gonna cut this open with the dremel probably i don't see why i couldn't be able to do this i, I don't see why my dremel couldn't handle this but we just found something cool y'all like dude you know what i could do i could probably cut this off right here to keep the top intact because i got i got stuff that'll cut right through that I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is my magnet down there stuck to that big metal beam. And I just I just don't think it's gonna come back. I really don't think it's gonna come back. I tried kind of hard. I'm not gonna try any harder because that's not the point of today. Um, so I guess if you want a magnet, no, I'm not gonna tell you where this location is. I found too much good stuff. But Clay, if you're watching, I'm gonna kind of need a new magnet pretty quickly. Um, just catching y'all up with what we got going on. But now I think we're gonna go to the parking lot and we're gonna call uh, the I guess the non-emergency number for that gun we found, or the nitrous tanks we found. 
So that's pretty cool. We found our first gun and we're calling the cops. So stay tuned. I feel like I said stay tuned like 50 times today, but stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't call it a gun anymore. Here. I, I figured this was probably stolen from someone's house and then they threw it out here to get get away with it. I don't know how you could honestly give yeah, that back to no anybody at this point because it's no I mean, serial number. Does it even uh no, no, none of the components move or anything. Is that an extinguisher? We found an extinguisher, tools, those big nitrous tanks. There's more out there. I don't, I don't mean to point with that. Uh, but there, there's yeah, there's yeah. That's what we've been doing. <laughs> yeah. uh, another thing we found while you're here, I wanted to I wanted to take it home, but I don't know if I needed to report this as well. We found an old parking meter. Like honestly, probably from like the 50s. It takes. It, it, takes, it says it, it doesn't take any modern. It takes. It takes 10 pennies, two nickels, or a dime. Uh, you think I could have that? Yeah. Sweet. That's yours, man. <laughs> Abandoned property. Oh yeah. And I know for sure. Some of them won. I can't get the hammer to come back, but the yeah. trigger won't collapse or anything. Because I, I assume you load through the, the breach right there, and that's what you knock that open and get that open, and that won't even like move. But I bet if you soak that in oil, and like, like pressure wash it off, soak it in oil, I bet you could have some fun with that. <laughs> yeah, it's either like... Is there, is there a musket or like a 10 gauge or a 12 gauge? Yeah. Or, or a replica, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it could be a replica too. And someone probably stole it from a house. Thinking it was real. <laughs> thinking it was real. And I mean, it's probably came around before serial numbers were involved, so I mean, there's no way to really know. I just, I don't know, we, we just wanted to call, because like I said, we record everything we do and... Yeah, you don't, yeah, I, I totally know. You don't want someone to see it and be like, ooh, where'd you really? get that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I, I still don't think you would be able to, the trigger, uh, trigger wouldn't be able to go back anyways. So with that being the answer, does that mean we get to take it home? Um, honestly, I don't see a problem with this. Sweet. I mean, if you don't want it, hey man, I'm more than happy to take it home and work my wonders. I'll just clean that. Yeah, Yeah. I, I, I was just trying to get as much as uh, the crap I can out of here. Yeah, it just looks like it's welded. The trigger's like kind of welded to the uh, uh -huh. trigger cover. That's what it looks like. I've been trying to get out as much as I can. The trigger, oh, you mean the trigger guard? Yeah, the trigger guard. Yeah, maybe. It just, it just. Hey, if it that's, won't, if that's yeah. your decision, I'm not gonna argue with you. It won't go back <laughs> anymore, so I mean. I mean, we got a parking meter and a gun today, so that's. And the nitrous oxide yeah. too. Well, I'm not. Those thinking. weigh like 200 pounds a piece. Yeah. This thing has been out here a very long time. Oh, dude, no doubt. The stuff out yeah, here has been. Gun, out here for a while. Real. That thing's gonna be super old. Y'all found it in the water? Yeah, it was like right there. I don't know if you see that magnet stuck to the bridge. I got, I have like a 1,200 pound magnet. I got it stuck in the metal over there, so it's not coming back, basically. So it, we just use it for the same effect. We throw that out there, and whatever sticks to it pulls it back. And oh, that's why y'all have all this here. Yeah. yeah. I thought this was just here. No, 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 no. I mean, I totally understand why you were cautious about it. But... <laughs> Never know to be exact, but no, I, I know, I'm I know. Very, what you're I'm pretty confident it's a uh, it's a replica. Good enough for me. Yeah. yeah. Good enough. I mean, you can try to restore it as best as you can, and I mean, there probably wouldn't there wouldn't be any. There's like no distinctive markings, engravings, mm -hmm. anything that I could possibly even run. No, I understand. Now the nitric also, you said yeah, those are on the back, other side. Yeah, yeah you can set that back down. We'll be over here. I got. It. We're gonna pick up all this trash before yeah, we get we'll out of here. Back. Okay. So you can just throw that on the ground yeah, if you want. I mean, and then we can run across the road real quick and hopefully not get hit. Oh. I'll try to type in. Musket or oh okay I got you I got you uh, just, uh, just something watch out. <laughs> just something to remotely find but no I hear you if I don't if I don't find like anything like indicating Roger. that it was part of anything yeah I'm I'm just gonna you guys can restore it and see dope right, I'm completely okay with that. Ugh. 
we're like in the tank. Alright, and those are the tanks right there. They're kind of old too, so I don't really know. But are same. You sitting there or y'all got the no, we, we pulled got them out. We pulled them out of the water. There's about three more in here too. You know, probably have, you know, with those, someone probably didn't want to pay to get them dumped. Oh, really? And really? Probably just use the lake. Really? That is, I mean, that happens a lot. You'll probably pull a lot of stuff where people didn't want to pay to get it dumped right. properly. Obviously, you got to dump those properly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see what I can find, if anything, on it. Sure. But if you don't hear back from me, y'all can, you know. Cool. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. What are y'all just shooting a video? You get yeah. stuff? Yeah, I'll get, and, I'll yeah then put it on card. YouTube. And... You'll be on YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys, so good news, good news. We just bumped into like the nicest cop in the world because he just let us keep that gun, and I'm gonna tell you why. So he was inspecting the gun, he was going over it, he was studying it pretty hard, as I'm sure you could tell. We seemed, seemed like we were talking to him for about 30 minutes, even though it was probably like 10. Um, really? Yeah. 15 total minutes, kind of a long time, but he was a super nice guy. Um, and after he studied the gun for a little while, he realized there's not much of a gun left, which is cool. There's no serial number, there's no identifiable markings, there's no stolen firearms that match that description coming out of this area. So what that means for us is, we get to have it. So we got a new firearm, y'all. I don't know how usable, workable, safeable it is, but I'm gonna spend some time I'm gonna probably spend the next week trying to get that cleaned up and we're gonna have a lot of before and after footage and I hope y'all really like that because I think I'll be able to turn this around a good bit. You'll be surprised what your boy Danny here can do. <laughs> but that's it for me today guys. I have no reason to carry y'all around, carry around anymore, talk to y'all anymore. I feel like I've been talking to y'all for the last 12 hours. But that's it guys. Y'all beautiful. Y'all amazing. I love you. Have a Merry Christmas. Actually, wait, 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 wait. We have a winner to do. We No, we're not doing the winner. We're giving a magnet to the winner. We're not doing anything to the winner. Winner, stand by, stand by. All right, guys. So my homie Outdoors Weekly, he's going to not do the selecting of the giveaway. The way I do my giveaways, I, I put it in a random comment picker. There's this website you can put in your link, and it'll go down to the comments, and it'll pick out the winner for me. So I don't have to do that because I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. This is the most fair way I can think to do this. So I'm gonna give him the honors, and like three seconds, he's gonna hit the button. All right, here we go. You want to? And whoever, show? ready? Here Wins we go. This gets the magnet. Watch it be me. Here we go. It's gonna load all the comments here. It's loading. And uh, this dude. The winner is Tom Riley. Okay, cool. <laughs> He just he's posts. Ma his comment said, I want a magnet. <laughs> he posts and he knows when to shift and, and... I want a magnet. Here you go, Mr. Tom. Tom, really? Riley? I know, it's Riley. I'm just messing with you. All right, Tom Riley. Um, get with me down in the comments or if you have an Instagram, message me on Instagram. I'm going to need your address. If you don't want to give me your address, I'm going to have to pick somebody else. But I'm going to need your address and I'm going to send your address to Brute Magnetics and Brute Magnetics is going to send you a brand new 500 pound magnet. Because Brute was kind enough to sponsor this giveaway. They're, they're kind enough to to hook you up with this magnet. So Mr. What did I say your name was? Tom Riley. Call now. No, no call me. Just do, just do what I just said. But I appreciate all y'all for watching. You're all beautiful. You're all amazing. I love you. See you next time.